Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Well, a lot of people out there think that if you want to use large language models or something else instead of ChatGPT, some open source model, you need to be a programmer because then you need to write some code like this one, as you can see here on my screen. But that's definitely not the case. In today's video, I'd like to show you no code, low code tools, how you can use uh, any kind of open source model for free on your local hardware and without having any programming knowledge. So let's get into that. One of the best tools for that is actually LLM Studio. So if you have not heard of it, I can show it to you because I already opened it. And it's basically a software which looks like this. You can download it for free. And when you have downloaded it, you just open it. And after installing it, you can actually run it. And then all you need to do is actually go inside the search box here because by default at the beginning, of course, you do not have downloaded any kind of model, but then you can simply go to search here and then up there you can type in any kind of model you want. For instance, here, as you see, I typed in Orca, but if I would search for Llama, for instance, and run this, I would see all the Llama models. We'll just take a little bit because there's so many, but you can see here, there are some Llama models. You can see them here for a lot of them are actually provided by the blog because he has um, actually provided them on Hugging Face in a specific format, so they are much smaller. So they reduce the weight size so we can run it on our local hardware. And uh, then you just take a look at the various options which are there. So in this case, these ones here, even though this is a little bit older, I would go with the GTUF files. So let me search for Orca again, so Orca and run this. And you can see this is the file format I would go for, if I, in, I would recommend at least the GTUF. And you can see how much disk space is required. You can see this one I downloaded, but you can also use larger ones or smaller ones and give them a try. And then all you need to do basically is click on the download button. Then it just downloads uh, the model. Uh, the size is there. Of course, this depends on your internet connection, how fast this is. But after you download it, then you can actually get started with it. And then you just go to the next section here, which is the chatting window or AI chat. And then you can chat with this specific large language model or the models you've downloaded, depending on which of the models you've downloaded. You just go there like that. And then you can see here, up there, you just load the model you want to use. In this case, you can see here for me, I have currently three models, which is the Tiny Llama, the Orca 2, which I downloaded, and also the Cephir Alpha, which is this model. And you just select what kind of model you want. And then it just loads the model. It just takes a few seconds. And then you can actually get started in here. And now you can see the chat window, kind of similar to what you uh, would know from OpenAI uh, on the internet, but now you have it locally. And it runs completely on your own hardware. And not only this, but also it runs without a GPU. So just in case you do not have an NVIDIA GPU, um, don't worry because you can also run it on your local hardware because it runs on the CPU by default, even though you have the option um, to use GPU if you want to use it. And uh, there are all the preset settings. You can read through this. Um, you can take a look at this. Um, you can see here, you can change it if you want. These are a few default ones. You can play around with them. You also have an explanation what each of these settings does and you can change it if you want. And then just go there. Let me just, if you click once on the model itself, it just gets loaded as you can see here. And now we can actually get start chatting. So for instance, again, uh, list three great animes. Um, and then I press enter and then just wait for the model's response. And then it's generating the response in here. And here we can see, uh, and the model is still generating the response here. You can see, but they get three animes and a little description here. Of course, you can be more specific, just have the titles or anything you want. Ask the question and you can see that you get the response. And you can also regenerate it if you don't like it uh, or ask additional question up in there. So that's possible. And next to this, you can also go there on the last tab here. So this is then really for any kind of programmers out there. So if you want to use it, you can still also use it as a programmer because you can create your own host there and you host this model then on your local uh, computer and they can use this and send requests. And you can see it's kind of similar to OpenAI. So just in case you're interested in that, take a look at this one as well. But if you do not like to program or you don't know how, don't worry because simply go there, download the model, choose what kind of model you want to use and then get start chatting here and don't experience any cost and that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Please give it a try. If you have some feedback, please share it. Also, if you have not done so far, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Take care and see you in the next video.